Hi, I'm Johan Eriksson, saxophone professor at the University of Montana. How do jazz players get such rhythm inside their lines? A lot of it has to do with clipping notes. Clipping is something that we really don't do much in classical music, but we do all the time in jazz. So what is clipping? It's simply stopping the note with your tongue. It'll sound like this. I tongue the beginning of the note and I stop the reed's vibration by putting my tongue back on the reed. So if I play a tune like Confirmation, I'll just play the first four measures. I'm now going to play what I just played, but slower, so that you can hear the clips. Did you hear all those clipped notes? And they are everywhere. Now that you're aware of that sound, go and listen to any jazz solo, and you're going to start hearing clipped notes all over the place. If you have listened to some jazz, you might have started noticing that it sounds like some of the notes are softer than others and they sound almost swallowed. On saxophone, we do not swallow the notes or we don't back off on our air. Instead, we use a technique called ghost tonguing. Sometimes it's called muffle tonguing. Sometimes it's called half tonguing. And it sounds like this. How do I do that? I simply lay my tongue, kind of the fat part of my tongue, ah, onto the reed very, very gently. So the reed is still vibrating, but it's getting muffled. This is why it's called muffle tonguing or ghost tonguing. It's just the ghost of a note. Uh, there's a second way of doing it. You can half tongue. So if this is the tip of your reed, you put your tongue on half of it. So you move your tongue sideways and you just touch half of the tip of the reed. And it sounds the same. It also muffles the sound. To learn when to use this, you need to listen to great jazz uh, musicians play and imitate where in a solo you will hear them do it. Um, oftentimes, if you find yourself already swallowing notes, that's probably where you should use this technique. Uh, it's not something that you can think about while you're doing it, so it has to become completely automatic. Imagine if you were thinking about everything your tongue was doing as you were playing. It would be virtually impossible to play. So it's st strictly a sound thing. So that's why it's really important to learn how to play authentically and use the proper techniques in order to do that. Have you noticed that jazz musicians often have accents within an eighth note line? How do they do that? Do they just push more air? No. On a saxophone, we've already talked about how most jazz musicians, jazz saxophonists, like to have their jaw slightly further back, which allows them to have subtone. Since they have their jaw further back, they can now push their jaw forward to neutral, where their teeth are lined up like this. You never want to go past neutral and have an underbite. That could actually injure you. So as they do that, the reed, the reed will vibrate more, and it will be louder causing in an accent in the line. So it might sound like this. Did you notice that there were some notes that popped out more than others? How should you know when to shoot your jaw forward and do the accents? Well, it's every single time there's a peak in the line. So notice on the board here, 
I've written out a line. How many peaks does this one have? There's one right here. There's another one right there. So it's not just the highest note, but it's every time the phrase changes direction. So notice my jaw. Notice how I shoot my jaw forward on those notes. Again, this is very similar to the ghost tongue. You can't really be thinking about this. So you have to make this a completely automatic movement and it's strictly based on sound. What you want to be careful with is that you're simply going back and forth with the jaw and not up and down. If you go up and down, you'll get kind of a twang. You don't want that sound. Uh, now go listen to a Charlie Parker solo and notice how everything is just popping and he's getting rhythm within the rhythm. Thank you for watching these videos. We will continue putting up videos and we're going to be taking a deeper dive into things like transcription and jazz style. If you have any ideas of things that you want to see videos, please contact me at the University of Montana via the School of Music website.